I'm Dr. Erica, this is Dr. Mao. We're here today with a group of Loop Abroad students from Ross University. They're veterinary students. We're here to help Elephants World, uh, help the students learn about treatments of elephants. We have here with us the lovely Ampan. She has a tooth root abscess. That happens sometimes with old ladies as their teeth are maturing and falling out. They can sometimes develop an abscess in there and hers has come through the bottom. So every day the Mahouts help and the vet care staff here help flush this wound. We're gonna do this today, okay? You ready? Yes. The first step to cleaning this wound is we're gonna apply some water. And Erica, you're gonna scrub under there with, just with your hand at first. Now we're going to flush it with some diluted povidine solution. So this actually can go right up into here and you are just going to insert the whole thing into there. As she um, chews more food, those teeth will come out and the infection will kind of reduce itself. And so we can help that process by giving her more abrasive foods to chew on and help speed up the natural process of her losing those teeth. And then we have some um, small cotton sticks that we can actually stick into here, into the wound. To see if we get any pus on. There's hardly any. We'll just do one more. We don't want to irritate it too much. But it looks pretty clean. There isn't a lot of pus. We can also kind of smell that it that doesn't smell really infected or anything like that. And the daily flushings of this wound helps keep it from getting terribly infected. It's not giving her any pain. She's able to eat. Um, we are flushing it every day to keep it infection free. We're just trying to manage it. So now we'll start with the laser. If it was a really painful condition, we could bump up the, the hertz. So bump it up to above a thousand hertz and that would help with pain. It would help by blocking um, the nerve basically. It doesn't hurt, it doesn't get hot, you can put it right on your skin. It's very safe, you don't necessarily need to wear goggles or anything unless you're doing it for hours and hours and hours at a time. Okay, so now we're going to take a blood sample from Ampon just to make sure she doesn't have an active infection going on. I like to use butterfly catheters because it allows the elephant to move around a little bit more in case she gets uncomfortable. She's a really good girl and she has nice big veins so I don't think it's going to be a problem. One really important thing to do is to make sure that you don't poke an artery because that's going to be really painful. We take the blood samples from the ear and you can palpate, you guys will get a chance later, but you'll palpate the vessel so you can tell which one is an artery and which one is a vein. And on her it's very easy and she's really laid back. So I know this one right here is a nice big vein. So we clean it first with alcohol and then we just poke right in. Oh. And she's a good girl and doesn't mind too much. And this allows me to be hands free and make sure that I'm not poking outside the vessel. That's it. And then we'll go ahead and take a look at this under the microscope to see if her white blood cell count is higher than it was last time. Okay, and now she's all finished and she can enjoy the last bit of her bananas before she takes off. <laughs>